Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, May the 6th, and today is a national holiday. <laughs> Can you guess what holiday it is? Um, I probably should have made this hat green, but I made it yellow because um, I like yellow better than green sometimes. I don't know. I don't know why I made it yellow. I just chose to. Anyways, today is National Space Day, so I thought it'd be fun for space to make an alien hat. <laughs> so I made this alien hat. I didn't use a pattern. I just... Um, winged it <laughs> so this is just a double crochet beanie i started up here with 10 double crochets and then i increased i increased a little too big for my head it's a little loose but that's okay i think i increased to 70 and then i made a few rows just straight to make it the length that i wanted it and then these little things up here um i just started with a circle and i increased i think to 18 and then i did a couple rows of 18 and then i decreased back down to six and made a little length and then uh, sewed them on there. So I got like little an antennas, whatever. <laughs> and then I also made Amber Grimmy. So this was also supposed to be in green because alien and people always associate aliens with green little guys, you know. But I guess they can be any color if they were real. <laughs> but uh, I made this one. Look at him. He's so cute. It's really bright. But this is called Alan the Alien and it's a free pattern by Ollie plus Holly. Um, and it's just so cute. This They're both made in Red Heart Super Saver bright yellow the old bright yellow that is really bright the new bright yellow is really dingy uh this i used a eye hook and uh, for these things i went down to i think an elf hook and then for him i used an eight um no i didn't so this is a i 5.5 this i used an elf hook which is a 3.75 and then i used 3.75 for him which is the elf hook but he's cute. He's got 20 millimeter safety eyes. I used some scrap yarn for his mouth and his cheeks. He's made in, let's see here, his two arms, his head and body are separate. So that's four or five, six pieces. Um, but I think he's cute as heck. He turned out so cute. I finished him up last night. You, he's got puff stitches as his little thumb so you can kind of see, you know, hand detail. He's like he's waving. <laughs> but I just thought they were cute. So it's, it's National Space Day. But I just thought it'd be cute to do aliens for space. I do love all kinds of stuff about space. Um, I love studying the constellations and seeing all the pictures and stuff. And it's just really neat to learn all that kind of stuff. And um, we follow the NASA website all the time. And we watch all the, um, like when the rockets go off. <laughs> and uh, SpaceX and all that, when they show off the rockets, it's always fun to watch that. To see people going up into space, it's just neat. But I think he's so cute. So I'll link this pattern down below. And again, there is no pattern for this hat. After I made it, it kind of looks like a Shrek hat. Except these would be different on a Shrek. Because his little things are like concave. You know, they're like that. I guess you could put a piece of yarn in there to make it look like that. It would be kind of like a Shrek hat if it were green. <laughs> but I just thought it was cute. I don't know. But here's my little alien. So it's National Space Day. So go study something about space. There's a part on the NASA website, I believe, where you can type in your birthday. And it'll show you a picture that was taken in space around your birthday. So that's really cool to see what they were looking at and studying, you know, at the time. But uh, until another video, whoop, I will see you guys another time for, I don't see here. I have another in our national holiday coming up. I have it written down, but I can't remember what day it is. Sometime next week. <laughs> but um, I can't remember what it is, so it'll be a surprise to me too. But anyways, I'm just blabbing. I'll have him linked below if you want to check him out. He's a free pattern. And uh, no, if you do make him. I started with the head first because how the pattern starts, but then I went and made the, the arms and the antennas because I was going to crochet the arms into the body, but then I decided I was going to do the waving thing, uh, like the picture, so I just decided not to do that. But what I did is I made the head and then I made the antennas and sewed them on while the head was not stuffed because it makes it easier. And then I made the arms and then the body. You start with one leg and then you attach the two legs together and go up. Before I stuffed the body, I sewed the arms on. And then I stuffed the body and the head and sewed them together. And then I did the uh, features. Well, you know, I did the eyes before I stuffed the head. But I did the little stitching afterwards. And, uh, yeah. But anyways. I always try to remember to make the little body parts first so I can put them on as easily as possible while I'm making the rest of the animal grooming. Because I hate sewing stuff on. So if I can take shortcuts, I do that. But I like his little pointy feet. I think he's cute. <laughs> but I'll probably put him on a shelf somewhere and just let him stay there. But, and I don't know when I'll ever wear this hat again, but I have alien hat if I ever need it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here now. I'm going to record a Happy Mo video that I'm going to put out on Sunday. Because it's two birthday gifts that I got in the mail. So I wanted to share them with you guys. But 
I'm gonna do that real quick. So I'll be sitting here wearing my same shirt. This is a different day. I realized the videos I filmed earlier this week had black shirts too, but it was different shirts. One was Britney Spears and one was my Star Wars shirt. And now this is a different shirt. I just happen to wear a lot of black shirts, I guess. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.